Miss Katrina G says, be the best version of yourself. And when life hands you lemons, make lemonade because your next is always greater than your now. It's always good to level up, be a blessing and not a lesson. And always remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Let's get it! This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Hey you guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Miss Katrina G, uncut. I'm cut and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I am Miss Katrina G of course. And also we are the Love Jones family. If you have not already, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And shout out to all of my members. Thank you so much for your continued support. Tracy Ann Jackson, Laverne Wiltshire, also, Laverne Wilshire Jones, also Stacey Wilson, Trina Hoskins, the lovely um, Miss Glow Glow Loves Love, the lovely beautiful Sonia, also Miss Beautiful Ebony, so, so, so many more. I am so thankful for all of you. Aja Delk, um, Jen to the Tail, everybody who continue to go that extra mile because everybody takes a leap of faith on your girl, Miss Katrina G. But shout out to those members who always, through and took a little extra leap of faith but guys 
there's no green screen. There's no green screen. As you can see, um, I made my boyfriend his, his lunch for work and I'm here at his house today eating cereal. I'm just doing like my little breakfast stuff, whatever I do sometimes. If I stay with Chris at his house, um, it's pretty much how it goes. We had a late movie last night, so this was the residing place. It was so much fun, y'all. Was I gonna vlog that? Absolutely not. I have vlogged our movies, but sometimes it just need to be time for you and your significant other. And so that was that time. This is what I'm eating, Honey Nut Cheerios, y'all. I love Honey Nut Cheerios, although I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I love Frosted Flakes, but Honey Nut Cheerios has always been one of my, one of my millions of favorite cereals. So, also, I today is my first day for my apple cider vinegar. There is a little bit of, I've made this prior to actually showing y'all the little snippets that I did. Um, there's a little bit of lemonade in this plus the apple cider vinegar and just straight water. So it's gonna be gross, but we still gonna drink it because it's gonna burn the fat that I have accumulated. <laughs> We're not working as much. Obviously, I am back uh, with this business. It is a lot of work, y'all. It is so much fun because it's something that you love to do versus, you know, going on an average job, working for someone else. You're actually working for yourself and all that good stuff and everything is definitely rolling now that we got what we were waiting for. Um, it's on a roll, y'all. So my um, launch date that I'm trying to aim for is the end of summer or, um, yeah, pretty much the end of summer. So the end of July, beginning of August. God has really, really been so good to us. He's been good to me. And so I am so thankful for this opportunity you guys but anyways let's pray we're gonna just chit chat y'all heavenly father we thank you for this meal we ask that you bless this meal bless those who do not have a meal bless the love jones family in a wonderful special way lord i thank you i thank you i thank you i continue to praise you for you are so worthy to be praised we thank you we praise you in jesus name amen i still got my ponytail on y'all and i did not wrap it up y'all i had so much fun we had so much fun in the movie we were spaced out because people are starting to open stuff back up and we don't mind have to skip the movie. No, I mean, you have faith. You get your shot, have faith, and God will work it out. So, anyways, you guys, you guys, you guys, why not show you the raw and authentic me? I love my cup, Chris by me, y'all. He always surprised me with coffee cups. This one is, he bought this for his house. The Lord is Oh wait, I'm sorry. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And that is Psalm, as you can see right here, 118 and 24. I don't know if y'all can see it, but. Mm. It's there, that is the first thing I make. You know, at my house, I have a Keurig, so I just pop it on, push the button. This hat bought me a coffee, Chris don't drink coffee, so. But when I'm here, he bought me a coffee pot. So I'm thankful for that. I try to put healthy stuff in his lunch, like his salad, his sandwich. He's a man, y'all. So I know that was a big sandwich. I usually home make a sandwich, but I wanted to give him something a little bit different. You know, his boss is always joking, like your girlfriend. She, he's he gets on the phone. His boss is super cool, y'all. He's like he's not eating his salad. He, he tossed his salad. I was like, oh really? That's how we rolling now. You sneaking and tossing your salad? out in the garbage so you know i didn't put his vegetables in there today because he had a salad so probably tomorrow i'm gonna add his vegetables he loves cantaloupe i do too i love me some good old fresh cantaloupe y'all mm. mm -hmm. look i got juice on my mouth mm. Y'all, why do we, why do we slurp when we eat cantaloupe? It was just me. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. Anyways, shout out to my bro and sis. Chilling with Lot and kicking it with Sin City. I'm so proud of you guys. And you're just a true testimony of, you know, people make mistakes. And then you pray, let go, let God, and you work it out. And God will always see you through, you know. Don't mind the naysayers. Because your haters should always be your motivators, you know. They will always put out schemes, lies. You know, just infiltrate stuff that's just not there, you know. And if it is there, some stuff you just don't speak on, on other people. Like, for me, if something was brought to my attention, I'm like, how could people, first off, black folk, hear me and hear me clear. We need to stop hating praying on each other's downfall, y'all. Like, as soon as something go wrong with someone you dislike, you know, you always want, we always want to, you know, fan the flame and be like, oh, you gonna get God. No, we need to stop. We need to stop, y'all. We always want down talking each other. We should be happy for each other, even if it don't go your way. We should be happy for one another. So I say, shout out to them. I'm so proud of them, you know. Love is love. Can't take nothing away. Can't add nothing to it. Actually, you can. But it is what it is. Mm. And I'm thankful to have... People like Walt and Cindy, you know, they take their time to talk to me and to befriend me. And my boyfriend, you know, I'm just grateful for good people. I understand this. Y'all know how fast a lie go around? A lie goes around very, very fast. That's a big thing about, oh, she got a PPP loan. Who cares? Who cares? Like, really? And you know, I've seen something on Facebook. This lady, she was talking about, oh, y'all going to jail. <laughs> y'all got the PPP loan. I'm like, I, this lady acts like she got it. Like, when I tell y'all, comment down below if y'all seen that going viral on Facebook and she got her little Facebook page. She went and got fruit. She talking about she finna pray to the ancestors for everybody who got it and she worried about them. Girl bye. Did you get it? You know it is what it is. Whatever people choose to do with their lives and themselves, it's none of your business and I feel like it's so sickening it's so sad for us to sit there and tear down one another i'm gonna tell you why people been getting ppp loans forever okay it took for the pandemic for black people to realize what it was and for those who want to know if youtube is a business absolutely youtube is your business. You can file YouTube as your business. You can have a sole proprietor as YouTube being your business, all of the above. It is your business. It is a for-profit business. Whether you do YouTube for the money or not, if you are monetized, there is income coming in. You must file your taxes. And it is used as a business. Like, People are a little weird, you know. I mean, everybody jumping on you and they're going along with you, something wrong. When people are going along with everything that you say, 
what you do. You got a couple people pushing back. Something is wrong. Because a lot of times when you're doing what's right, that you, <laughs> those are the ones who want the attention. People tend to turn off a deaf ear. But when you spilling the tea, everybody all in your face. As soon as you're done spilling the tea, they're gone. But just look at the influence you've had on people negatively. Because you can influence people negatively or positively. I refuse to put out bad energy. I'm just sorry. Life is just too precious. Life is just too good. I'm just too thankful to God for my platform on YouTube, for my business, for my family. In spite of them, in spite of me. I'm not going to say nothing about them. In spite of me, my church family, my YouTube family. I'm just thankful. And it's just like, I don't want to mislead anyone, you guys. Like, do y'all ever think about your day and if you have caused someone to stumble? That's one of the biggest things, but everybody can't say that because everybody don't have that heart, that genuine heart for, for God's people, you know, or for themselves. When you don't love yourself, you try to beat up the next person, especially when they're not even discussing you. You know, people... They tend to get bitter, they tend to get disappointed or angry, and I just ask and pray that people just shun that. Get rid of that bad spirit, get rid of that envy, get rid of that jealousy. Because jealousy causes very serious issues. Jealousy can be so bad that you can kill. But anyways, that's just my thing. I was just like, oh lord, YouTube, please. It's not worth it. You don't get enough money for maybe 2,000, 3,000 views uh, on YouTube to just disrespect each other, y'all. Just pull it together. Pull it together. But again, shout out to you guys. I am praying for you because although our odds are against you, God is for you. And God blesses marriage no matter which way. It has been ordained. God blesses marriage. Marriage is holy before God. And he says, let no one separate what he has joined together. And so that is my encouraging words to my lovely brother and sister, Chilla Lawa and Kikini with Sin City. We about to turn up, all the way up, all the way up. Yes, yes, yes. We about to turn all the way up. So stay tuned for that, you guys. I am so proud of them. I tell Cindy, he's like, I'm going to be your videographer because <laughs> we ain't missing none of the moments, y'all. We got to caption the moments. Although I have my own YouTube channel, I would love to do that. You know, it costs nothing. I can edit. I can do all that good stuff. I have the technology, the equipment to do that. So, you girl got to do something. Like, I love them. But anyways, y'all, that's just my encouraging words. I got my little robe on. My encouraging words, too my family just keep your head up the more people hate the more people talk down on you in your marriage the higher you are elevated because people talking and when people are talking that means you're doing something right period you know I'm glad they have decided to take that step in marriage because you know a lot of times we just hang out you know um, they're old enough to understand if they want to get married or not. Okay, period. But I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm just I'm just a little tired right now. You know, it's very early, extremely early, y'all. Y'all just don't know how early it is. It's early for me. Your girl likes to sleep in. I enjoy sleeping in, but I couldn't go without giving my content to my Love Jones family and shouting out my bro and sis for their new wedding. Their wedding. I already knew that they were gonna get married prior to the reception and all that stuff. You know, me and Cindy always talk. That's my mom. That's my God sent. She's my sis, but she's also like a mom. Cindy has her own kids, but I'm just thankful that she takes the time to talk to me, 
you know, about things that a mom will talk to her daughter about. I'm like, I think I'm one of her, I'm her kid's age. Yeah, I'm in their age group. So maybe her oldest because her baby, you know, is very, very young. But she reminds me so much of my mom. Redbone, she's beautiful. She's just a beautiful lady. Nobody's perfect. I got a snap back too. You come for me, I'm gonna snap. Mine's a little bit more low key, but that's only on YouTube. Mm -mm. My family know I'm super bold. I'm very outspoken. I hold back on nothing. Personal too. I'm not bashful by far. I know how to speak up. I know how to be stern. And I know how to say what I mean and mean what I say. So, here we go. Actually, I taste the lemonade. I think um, I put a pinch of lemonade. I didn't want too much because I didn't have any lemon juice. I would prefer putting lemon juice in here or one of the um, crystal light packages, which I need to get from the grocery store, y'all. I got groceries. Um, but I didn't get the crystal light packages. I knew it was something I was missing. Those are sugar free. So, yep. That's the life of a cancer. We are very outspoken and careless, you know. Um, no, we, it's just, and it's one thing to be beautiful on the outside, but when you real and beautiful on the inside, you're gonna have so many people come down your throat, especially when you got what they want. Whether it's the personality, whether it's the status, whether what they think they want, because everybody has their file, their shortcomings and their, um, you know, I'm just talking with y'all. We're just chit-chatting y'all. Their shortcomings and their um, ch challenges in life. And nobody really see that. They just see your smile. They just see your, your willpower. They see God in you. They see his grace on you, which they have as well. You know, they see your light and they want to dim that. Can't nobody dim your light, honey. If you're watching this, whoever you are, can't nobody dim your light. Nobody but you. You know, what the devil mean for evil, God always mean for good. Period. Whether your marriage didn't work out, Lord forbid. I pray that it did. Whether your job didn't work out, whether your kids ain't working out, and they get on with your entire nerve. What the devil means for evil, God means for good. And the more the devil come for you, the higher you're elevating. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Ears have not heard what the Lord has in store for you. They have not, they have not. And you know, a lot of people wanna be in people's position, but you don't know what it took to be there. You don't know what it took to be elevated to where this, these people are elevated to. And you more than likely the people who talk negative and just so, you know, dull. Those are the people who say what you should do, what you should have done, what's gonna happen to you. And they don't know how to do nothing that you can do. And that's even if you know how to put on a smile. That's even if you know how to be yourself, you know? They don't know what to take and they don't care and they don't know how to do it. You know, like with Samson and Goliath. They didn't want to know how he got so strong and how his strength was so great. They want to tear his strength down. But the devil me for evil, God me for good. And there is more for you than against you. But if God be for you, who cares who's against you? Period. Anyways, that's my motivation for today. Anyways, I love this little cute ponytail. I'm gonna have to redo her, y'all. Y'all know how y'all use edge control and it dries up? Yeah, that's me, but so cute. If I put my scarf on, it would be better. You ain't gotta work out or nothing if you drink this. Mm. I just gotta pray for every sip. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching my little chit-chat, sit down, eat breakfast, nip it, snap, snap <laughs> video. I'm just so thankful that you guys tuned in. I am going to be busy traveling like never before in the midst of building my business, which is so awesome, y'all. I can't wait to just show y'all the grand finale. I'm just having so much fun spending all my money. 
but I've saved up for this moment. And I'm just so thankful and grateful. We have not missed a beat. We have a big family vacation coming up. I have to actually today, as y'all watching this video, put together the itinerary and put it in the family group chat. That's what I do because I have to set the, the ground rules for the whole family, you guys. You know what I mean? Before we get there. It's just based it off previous trips. Every trip, you know, we base it off of that. Like last year, we was in Texas around this time. But we kind of flip-flopped it to this time we went to Texas first. And then now we're going where we're going. Which is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to give y'all a house tour because that. Y'all thought the Versace mansion was something? Check out this next one, okay? <laughs> yes. I'm so thankful for my family. But anyways, y'all. Thank you for watching. I want you guys to continue to rise up. Rise up in the midst of confusion. God is not in the midst of confusion. We all know that. If it's if it's um, bad, negative, that is not of God. God is of love. He is of um, strong power. He is of long suffering. You know, humility. That means even when someone has done you wrong, you don't clap back. You just don't. We don't knock one another. I feel like as African Americans, we have had enough against us whether we like or dislike each other what we say what we do god don't like or god don't agree with everything we do so why would we just be mad at someone else because of what they say or do chuck it up chuck it up and just put out positive energy and pray that if you don't like something about someone that that changes either it changes you because we shouldn't be like envying one another because of what we do anyways or it changes the person for the better so there's no excuse to down talk each other, you guys. We are a family. You know, that's our church theme this year. We are family because we are all God's children. But with that being said, I want you to stay safe, stay blessed, check on someone, let them know you love them. Hold on. I'm gonna have to drink this whole bottle, y'all. I love you, but. God loves you more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya. Ooh. I'm going to do a thumbnail, y'all. Y'all going to be right here. I ain't editing this out. Hey, y'all.